Hello. The objective of this video is to give my proof of the AC method for factoring quadratics of the form AX squared plus BX plus C. And my proof starts off with multiplying your normal AX squared plus BX plus C form by A. And when I do that, I end up with A squared X squared ABX plus AC. And then I would combine my AX terms here. So I have AX squared and AX times B. And then I'm temporarily going to replace the AX. I'm going to let Y equal AX. I'm going to replace it in there so that I now have Y squared plus BY plus AC. Why did I do that? Well, by replacing that AX with a Y, I now have it in a form where I've got a quadratic with a coefficient of 1 in front that I can factor by just finding the factors of AC that add up to give me B. So I would factor this and I would end up getting something like Y plus M and Y plus N where M and N are the two numbers that multiply to give me AC but add to give me B. Now in the meanwhile this is still going to be equal to this up here, our original quadratic multiplied by A. So now I'm going to substitute back in the AX. So at that point I'm going to have A AX squared plus BX plus C that's going to be equal to AX plus the factor M and AX plus the factor N. Now, if I factor out a common factor from these two, and let's call those common factors P and Q, I factor out any common factor from here, I'm going to have AX plus M over P times P, and Q is going to be AX plus N over Q, factoring out those common factors. And this is still going to be equal to A, AX squared, plus BX plus C. Now if P and Q, if the multiple, if you multiply P and Q, the product there of those two, is equal to A, then these two are your factors of your original quadratic. And that is the proof here. As long as A is equal to the P and Q here, we would divide both sides by the A. This side would be left with AX squared plus BX plus C. This side would be left with the AX plus M over P times the AX plus N over Q. That only works if P times Q happens to give you your A value. And when you see some examples work out like this, you'll find out that that happens quite often. In fact, I have not found many cases, any cases, where that was not true. Generally, if P and Q, the multiple of P and Q does not equal A, you missed a common factor at the beginning that you could have put taken out there. Thank you.